Alright everyone, today we're facing against GT Russell, J. Russell, not entirely sure how to pronounce it, but playing against them today, and should have a good adaptive match here today. Just messaging them on Discord and seeing if they want to make the room, or if I should make the room, and we'll see how... Uh, That goes and should be able to get into it soon. I'm going to be playing the deck that I played last season as well. Uh, I'm going to be playing Boba the Bright, which I think is a good, um, a good and pretty reasonable deck to use for adaptive. Especially playing it last season, I got some good experience with it. So, may as well continue that. I did fairly well. Especially, I think I did way better at it as the season went on. So, it's a fun deck to play. Name's great. Love Dark Tidings. So, have some fun with it. You know, if it doesn't uh, doesn't treat me well, then we can uh, always change. Perfect. Looks like he's got a game link for us, so I will dive into that. And we'll uh, put that in. So I'll change scenes here. Get on over to gameplay. And put the pattern, the password, which is logos. Right? Yeah, logos. Oh, wait. I entered as a spectator. It only offers me a spectator spot. Well, we'll wait on them to see if it can go. Oh, hey today. Hey, Danabot. How's it going? I see you've joined, you're, we're in the same pod and you joined this league, so looking forward to, to facing you soon. Just waiting on Russell to send me a link because that one only seems to give me a. Um... Oh, there we go. That worked this time. There we go. That worked. Yeah, that was strange. I don't know why that didn't uh, take the first time, but here we are. I think we have uh, our face cam also lined up for this this time. So we can get that, get that on. And then like I said earlier, we're going to be playing uh, Bob with the Bright. Yeah, I'm good to go when he is. Yeah, now my face. Shocking. No one would have ever suspected. Let's see if I can get the chat popped out so I can read it much easier. Oh, the lighting's kind of bad in here, but... We do what we can. Let's see. What are they playing? Worlds Collide. Russell. 
Oh! The namesake, I love that. Magician of the Abnormal. E die. So good. E die support. It's good archiving. It's pretty quick. Artifact control. Nepeta, Gigantica, Fittest. Well, it's definitely be an interesting matchup. I'm not so good at reading deckless at this point, but. Should be a fun match. We'll see how it goes. I'm totally okay with this starting hand. Yeah, it def this is definitely a deck where I'm gonna have to see how they play it, so I can get some tips on how to play it out. Interesting. They don't have like infighting or anything. No. No board wipe, I don't think. Oh, that's awesome. Assuming they don't kill our Yurian immediately, we'll get some good shield you later value. And we'll probably do Teresa on. S oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't think. Surely is a great combo with the Urian, but I didn't think he'd be staying around. So now. I think we just want Shield You Later as a creature to reap. I don't. I think we'll keep that. And we'll definitely put this on. Oh, oh wait. Let's... I always do that. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. No, never mind. Uh, no, it's okay. I think with the end turn. There's been worse things. 
yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I have honestly. Yeah, nice of them. I think at that point it just gets too uh too complicated though since I accidentally ended my turn too. Plus two power. So I'll do this first and capture your right here. And then, cause we'll, so I can either fight into here, or reap. Two amber is nice, but I think that we want the daughter off the board more. Could raise the tide too, but not if that's necessary. Yeah, we also want, want to make sure if I would shield you later because of the anomaly anomaly exploiter. Also, just like don't need to take random damage there, but it's just a small thing there too. We could just raise the tide next turn. Yeah, I think we're good. Doesn't seem any doesn't seem any frame drops or anything. Well, I'm really glad I didn't take the chains then. <laughs> what do they purge again? Yeah, okay. So I can't get them off check here, unfortunately. Here we'll flash freeze, echo pearl, exhaust, call the void. So that was good. The flash freeze showing up with the call the void was good. Got him off check. Cleared out the infernus. Then for instance, Kucha usually it's okay to have on the board because I don't really want them cycling through their deck again, but I'm getting it. But and Ghost Hawk into an empty board. Good to see, but they are at check again. 
there's no way we can get him off check. Sword is invaluable. Oops. We'll reap and reap. That, um, that Harbinger of Doom really hurt us. This is a mildly, this is a, no, it's a creature dependent deck. Um, not, su not super creature dependent, but stuff like when Seneschal Sargas is off the board and yeah, we want to be reaping. So that, uh, that hurts. And two of our major threats, the CXO Taper and the Urian were taken off immediately too by a Sanitation Engineer, so... Yeah, Doom is right. Oh, Mimicry. Mimicking Flash Freeze is interesting. So we're definitely going Sanctum next turn then. Alright, I guess technically we could go, um... You know, do Discord. Or Star Alliance for the Unity Discord, but... Oh, they mimicked... Damn. Double Mimicry combo. Oh, wow. Yeah, we'll just go Sanctum here. Go Sanctum. Raise the Tide. Stranger Ornation. Rather inconsequential move, but... What other creature threats do I care about? Daughters are both gone. Edai's gone. I kind of think we don't. So I think I just want to delete this Rustnar. Ron check. Let's see where we go from here. Imprinted Mermook. What else do they do? Song of the Wilds. Yeah. Okay, that was a good, uh, good one then. Cauldron boil for the thing. You picked a bad time for a tropical vacation. They didn't add. A dino well, forge the blue key first. And. 
Do we reap for three amber? We'll play four cards. I don't know. I guess we do Starlines. This is Bounce. I guess we bounce imprinted Mermook. Come tax. I guess, yeah, that's probably the play. That's probably the play since we can't actually. Get him off check. We'll just make him spend that extra extra amber. S effectively, you know, taxing them, slowing down their amber generation a little bit. This is a pretty rough match as it is, though, because you know, obviously we're key behind. Got board, and I guess their one board clear is gone. So perhaps we can we can start bringing it back. I'm gonna be tempted to go back into unfathomable next turn, though. Yeah, there's a second in furnace. First in furnace? Oh, right, they regrowthed it. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Daughter. I mean, this cleansing way is probably going to be useless. I mean, the cleansing way never really does anything, anyways, but. Let's see. We want to discard carry guilt spine. We just want the amber control. Just discard that. Purging their own. Interesting. I wonder what they're purging. Cauldron Boil and Song of the Wild. That makes sense. Yeah, interesting. And they're at check. I guess you play Sanctum. Do Cleansing Wave and. Pass it back over. Oh! There's our Ring Low. This is a, now there's a Capture Pit on Ring Low in this deck. And I actually, I like, that seems like it kind of sucks, but I actually like it because it makes bring, oh. How many, oh. GG. Was not expecting the Data Forge win.
Yeah, very interesting. Trying to really hurt. That's a good game though. Lost me, what, four, six, eight. It's wild. Kick me out in the transition. Yeah, I know it's a, uh, TCO bug. Reversal game. Good draw. Yeah. Sucks when that happens. And thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Oh, true. Yeah, I should. I want first here because of the the free mulligan. No idea if that's actually the right choice though. Vapors might be a good. Um... Yeah, that's fair. I just never know because it always seems like um, you got a lot of value from being able to get all those cards out. I guess we'll get the anomaly exploiter out. So get at least maybe a little bit rewarded for going first. I would like to archive that data forge. What do they play? Strange ordination. Interesting. It's definitely a good start. Four amber on first turn, not bad. 
But now we'll Infernus. I guess it's not going anywhere. But I don't really have anything better. Then, fresh ingredients and step-by-step -step recipe cards are packed into a box and delivered right to your door. Whenever it's oh well. convenient for you. Cook exciting dishes and explore new cuisines with the easy-to-follow recipe cards. Discover how easy it is to make oh, yeah, delicious of course. meals from scratch. I haven't actually, this is the first time with the face cam, so I actually don't know if that's uh, the best place for it. Probably up here. Better. Experience how you can make wholesome and tasty Don't need to be that big. That everyone will enjoy all in 30 minutes or less. Let me know if that's better. You deserve Hello Fresh. Don't miss trying Canada's favorite meal kit with this special offer. Get your discount now by clicking the link. Hello Fresh gives you full control so you can change your order. Are there any bad plays of Wild World? Okay, good. Costs. Thanks for dropping. I think we just play Wild World here. No matter what you've got going on, try our balanced meals with fewer than 600 calories. There are plenty of vegetarian options every week. Try our quick 20 minute recipes. Discover exciting new cuisines from around the world. Cook family classics everybody will love. Need more reasons to start cooking with HelloFresh? Can't get six of Tabor off the board, so that sucks, but we will work with that. Home cooks made more than 600 million well, not going into star lines anyways. Value. HelloFresh makes dinner simple and still gives you plenty of options that everyone enjoys. Easy as that. So, why not cook I have a Hello feeling Fresh. I just, just realized that there's an app going on. My bad. To focus on the game. Do we strange ordination? Selective preservation? Selective preservation only kills one creature, though. Two, I guess. Can we free Rust now or? I think I'd rather just gain three amber. We could logos. Can we tau tau first? And we'll archive Archive the Evil Eye. I go on the right. Add daughter to hand. Ah, oh, right. Carry guilt spine. So we're at Jack. They already used their bring low. So in terms of how amber control they have left, they got two shifting battle. They've got the shifting battlefields. Should I send it to also Gasa? And a couple, uh, call the void, and then the one flame go enforcer too. Mm, vanish ships is good. They're gonna bounce. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, okay, that's interesting. And so here we'll play this, and we will, uh... Probably 
probably double and furnace them. This is gonna suck for them. And then we'll do this. Sacrificing a furnace, play exhum, take in furnace, and then we will click a preservation and abandon ship. Which is pretty good. And I don't think we need to take the tide here or anything. I think it behooves us not to take the tide. And taking away six amber from them feels pretty good. We have an evil eye, evil eye in archives so that we can pull that back, pull that back out whenever we need it for some emergency amber control, or I guess taxing. The only time this deck goes quickly is with urine on the board. So there won't be any large bursts of amber from my deck until urine's out and has, you know, layer the lake on the board with them or shoot you later on top of them so we don't really have to worry too much about that's interesting why the hmm gonna play it anyways that's a that's a good use Not vulnerable to Nomine Splitter. I kinda want a Logos. I think we're gonna mimic Selective Preservation here. So we're gonna rest an hour. We're gonna imprint it Murmook. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I just realized I was, at, I was looking at the purged. Yeah, I thought I purged it. Okay. Oh, that was misplaced. However. We are going to mimicry their maelstrom. I think the two ch the two chains on maelstrom is really unnecessary. Dry the rubber sucks. So here, we'll play Logos. Back the deck. I'm inclined to untamed here. And 
simply Song of the Wild. Rusnar. Doesn't really matter, I still want to destroy their Pigorific Rod. Oh, but I can't, can I? Oh, that's annoying. Yeah. Just realized that they were, uh, same power. Well, that's annoying, but it is what it is. So the next turn, we'll go back into Logos. They're going to take the 8 eye off the board this turn. Those fight the Horde sign into it. Almost guaranteed. Yeah. Pretty good. Yep. Pretty good. And next turn, I said they go back in Unfathomable, they reap for four, and back up to nine. We can take them down to seven, tax for three. So at that point, would I rather just tax for three? I guess we just tax, keep the tax for three. Don't take the archives into our hand. Let's still keep that. So here we go, Logos. Get the daughters out. Now I'm an exploiter. Bam, discovery. Actually, yeah, so I was considering taking that tide there, so that if because they're probably gonna reap with Unfathomable, maybe. Um, but if they already had a free way to raise the tide, then that just really hurts for me, even though I have two daughters out. I'd rather be drawing up to eight. So here we do the do a nice little dis piece. I think we just discard a second deal Scullion. Pull from the opponents. Bam discovery and shifting battlefield. Probably not. Take all the void. And then that's something. Got a mimicry. What would we want to take? Maelstrom again? I think we're fine taking Maelstrom again, right? We just dis. So we're at six, so we'd be drawing two extra cards, one additional card. So we're at six already, so it's still only be, we'd still be drawing two more. So I'll take the tide here. 
So if they want it, shouldn't get it for free. I'm also still considering mimicking. What's our draw? Cutthroat research and Dexus. So that would be pretty interesting if we wanted so we could mimicry and basically guarantee more discs or logos for the next turn. It's like the I guess we do lose the two draws and the daughter's doing that. That feels like the best play to me. Yeah, see there they had to take they had to take the free chains there. And I made them pay 9 amber for that key. So we're ahead overall on that one. Rip. Almost on that Yuri, yeah. Only allows to play. Play or use, yeah. So I think we do mimicry our Nelstrom. Really bugger him up. So first we'll deploy here. Oh, oh no! Stupid Rather River. All right. So first we Maelstrom, then we Vine Apple Tree. Try the rivers are super sneaky. We don't need this, so. There we go. It's more or less what I wanted. Lots of artifacts in this one. Do I harbinger of doom here? Probably. Oh yeah, I want to keep my daughter, my daughter on board. No, oh, I guess I actually don't want to do that. Oh, 
I should switch houses. This feels really bad to use this and then. I won't though. It's an honest mistake. That was a misplay though. That was 100% a misplay. So here we capture the tide and we're all gonna capture onto Nalizon. Now they can't reap. What's left in here? So I guess uh, we're mildly unincentivized to destroy our Harbinger of Doom now since we have a captured Ember on the Malazon. But we'll just have to see how that's going next turn. See what monsters they play out, creatures they play out, and see how that looks. Here's the tide. We play Yurian. Yurian's sort of also what I'm looking for a lot. We can get that Yurian off the board before it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna play. gonna fight into here. Doesn't matter, I guess. Can we just play this? No. We just shake hands. Try again next time. This game has been much slower. Um, than the last run, I feel like they really outpaced me. And if this is a testament to my deck, to my play, or just how the draws have lined up. But it's definitely interesting. Triska sucks. Tap tap first. Choose a card to archive. go. Nice. That was a pretty clutch cut through research. Just went up to eight. Brings us a check. Very good. Got Infernus 2. Here we'll forge blue. We don't want to go dis here. So we're actually going to go untamed. Our is Murmuk and Ghost Rock. We won't take those up. A will stun there. Is that even worth? Probably just feels like no. I 
I don't see a point in raising the tide. That's annoying. They have nothing in their discard either, so I'm very inclined to simply go Logos. Let's crash here. Do we have the Tide? No, I'll take the Tide. As long as, as long as we stay below 7, we're not losing 2 cards. I still think we're coming out ahead with the 2 daughters on board. And there's no mimicry targets. We purchased six of the actions out of the deck. So, don't forget, the amount of actions left are getting slim. Actually, not entirely sure. I don't actually remember how many actions are in Obeth. Still, I guess we go untamed. Take archives into our hands. Maybe our Moomuk will live. This anomaly exploiter has been trash. The deck is pretty fast, so. It Feels like it would do well chained. With the Tao Tao's and the daughters. So if I go for my own deck, I plan on trying to really really twist the knife on this deck for as many um, possible Yeah. As mu as many possible Amber as I can. No, not Amber. As much as many possible chains out of them as I can to get this deck. For them to get this deck. Because I still think Bobbeth can still win this matchup. As shown in this match, it's clearly doing fairly well. No Amber. I think I'll have to purge my own.
Gillette Labs with Exfoliating Bar for a shave as quick and easy as washing your face. We'll take the tide here. Let's see if we can win this one. They probably have like shifting battlefields or something like that. We'll see if they pick Sanctum or not. The bring low's gone. They still have enough. Yeah, Sanctum. Yeah, I'm sure they have enough then. Or even if they... No, it's not, uh, they could have Sargassa and raise the tide. Oh, I shouldn't have raised the tide, actually. <laughs> Didn't want them reaping, but I'm going to win any time. Any... Okay, they should from battle anyways, so it doesn't really matter. But if their only out is Sargassa, they shouldn't have raised the tide there, because then they can raise the tide and take two from me. So that was a misplay. I should not have raised the tide there for for that one out. They didn't play to that one out. They don't have to take that. So, see if it matters. It might matter. Might not. How do we win here? Tau Tau to archive a card. We'll archive Rusnar. Information exchange. We'll Argy archive. We will add Titao Vapors to our hand. That's a really good one. Archive Mimicry. Like that. Then. And we reap here to remove the creature's stun. And we just get on to check.
spooky. Yeah, like the, uh, the tow off I could save that. It was it was uh, the best thing we could have pulled. And now I suppose they're out is Sargassa because I think they played shifts. They played both their shifting battlefields. And so the only key Amber control left is Seneschal Sargassa, I think. That means I'm a real streamer now. Yeah, I think that's... Starlights. Second so phone call. See if they need anything. No, I was good. All right. Oh, not my Mermook. Foiled me. Sad. I don't know how to win here. We went off Data Forge? No way. There's no way we went off. There's no way we went off Data Forge. I think that's the only way we win though, right? <laughs> but I don't know where they because we're gonna be thinking about this. So Data Forge is plus ten. So we're looking at plus sixteen. So we're looking at sixteen. Each card in hand. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So plus two. So at seven, this gives us two to put us to seven. I don't know. I think this is. This is the only way we win. <laughs> wow, man. Two data forges. Crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah, 
That was really nice. Exactly, too. Especially because, like, this this daughter is enraged, so can't even reap. Oh, God. Okay. Very good. So now we're going to the adaptive part. Oh, I just bought my mic. We'll make an adaptive game. I can make it. Yeah, that's a really good win. So we'll leave this. And new game. Same password, Logos. Adaptive Vesta 1. Competitive. Copy that. Put it into Discord for him. No way for them to get in here. That was spooky though. That was very spooky Dinobot. It was not a, not thinking we could get that uh that went out of there. I guess the Tatao Vapors did more than just see me there, because it saved me gave me a, gave me the extra archive to make that work and Yeah. That extra Tatao off of Vigor really uh carried the game there. that down. And we're bidding on Russell. So I think I take this straight to six. I was expecting to put more of a fight for those chains, but obviously they don't think this deck can perform with chains. Or maybe they like my deck's, my deck's odds better. I was kind of hoping to have my deck back, but... Alright. Uh, Well, this is a mulligan. No, oh, that sucks. Okay. Easy. We had the first play anyways. So. It's actually pretty good going first on these on, on an adaptive match like this because you take two chains away immediately. So 
you're not really necessarily worrying about something like that. I can't, unfortunately, take the tie right now because I'll go down to two cards. I don't want to do that. Daughter information exchange. Bingo. And now with the daughter's out, we got the Tatao's out, we're pretty much operating on the same speed. Jesus Christ, they're already at a... Already at six for a key. That was, it's a, that was a quick start. Way faster than usual. I'm not even sure the disc here is worth it, though. Probably. They don't have eight or more. Say Libby. I could probably go and team though. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's Danger Nation 2? God damn. It's okay, well, we're gonna infernus that one. No, we're not. We're not going to do that. We are going to. And I will be mimicking that Stranger Nation. Again, they will. gonna fight yeah oh, that's that's actually pretty cool it's a neat interaction
this is a uh, this is one of the fastest I've seen Bob with come out of the gate. This is sort of the game where it feels like you don't have too much to commentate about. Yeah, Rudo's right. So okay, now, now that we mimicreed the strange ordination twice, we'll unfurnace it. And then all will be restored to the universe. Probably that and then call a void. that forge a key moral victory Growth, not finished with you. Okay. I feel like is there any card we want in our hand immediately? Not really. So I think we just take the daughter. from this, but we'll try. There'll definitely be a case of we'll need to kill the inf we'll need to get some good value out of the infernus. And I don't really know how we're gonna do that, but we're gonna try we're gonna, we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Distinct lack of abandoned ship. My Infernus. I wonder why. I don't think we win. I don't think we win. See, how would we win this?
I don't see a victory here. Guess we don't win. The final tree wouldn't help us anyways because they're at seven. So I don't think it actually matters. If we had our exhume in hand, yeah, I just don't think we're going. I'm gonna just go logos, put up both our daughters. Three, three very well played games. Mm, JT Russell. Yeah, that was. Very well played. I think they played very well. I think that validated my deck well. I think they played to the outs of my deck well. And they played their own deck quite well. So. Good bonding experience. Yeah, Obvious doesn't really want to play the Maelstrom because they have to have creatures that they want to reap with. And the fact that the fact that this deck could mimic it out of their graveyard after probably discarding it to uh, kind of mess up their mess up their battle line and sew them over. Heard it. Mimicry is just such a punishing card.
Yeah, mimicry is very good. Mimicry is very, very good. Those are fun games, though. Hopefully, they were fun to watch. That's fun. Well, I should probably be going. That's perfect timing. Well, that was it for me. I can bring up uh, Bobbeth on two. I just key for here. So, if y'all are interested, you can see the stats. But I mean, I'll be pl I'll be playing this deck probably the whole way through the adaptive league. Um. So that might change, but I definitely have other decks I want to test, but this is probably the one I'll be sticking with throughout the throughout of Kagi. Should be interesting. It served me well last season, and I think it definitely was a deck that served me better as the season went on, so that was a really close match and excited for the rest of the, rest of the games. Alright, well, thanks everyone for tuning in. Thank you, Dinobot. Thank you for Quick Draw 2 for the follow and popping in, so. I will see all of you guys another time, and I'll be streaming. So um, I'll be, I'll be, I'll try and stream all of my games. They might not necessarily all have commentary, but um, I'll definitely try and stream all of them. So you guys have a great rest of your day, rest of your evening, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>